solar storm extreme space weather warning solar storm hits earth today traveling at 600 miles per second this is nasa warning us of what's coming today a solar storm is barreling towards earth at 600 kilometers per second and could collide with the planet today this was written a day ago so this is by sean martin on express uk it's now that it's coming in space weather forecasters say a hole has opened up on the top layer of the sun's atmosphere the national oceanic and atmospheric administration noaa for short said a gaseous stream of solar particles is flowing from the sun traveling at an astronomical 600 kilometers per second unfortunately for earth it's caught in the direct stream and noaa says it is more than likely to hit today website space weather noaa says noaa forecasters say there is a 60 percent chance of a g1 class geomagnetic storm when a stream of solar wind is expected to hit earth's magnetic field the gaseous material is flowing at 600 kilometers every single second from the hole in the sun's atmosphere when the particles hit it will result in a solar storm for earth which could see southern or northern lights or aurora australis and aurora borealis depending on which hemisphere the solar wind hits as the magnetosphere gets bombarded by the solar winds there will be stunning blue lights that it can appear over the upper reaches of the northern hemisphere and the lower parts of the southern hemisphere space weather confirms arctic auroras are likely this thursday and on and the solar storm is not dangerous the consequences could be far more serious than the appearance of the northern or the southern lights but for most part the earth's magnetic field protects humans from the barrage of radiation but solar storms can affect satellite-based technology. Solar wind can heat the Earth's outer atmosphere, causing it to expand. And this can affect satellites in orbit, potentially leading to the lack of GPS navigation, mobile phone signals, and satellite TV. Addition, uh, additionally, the surge of particles can lead to high currents in the magnetosphere, and these can lead to higher than normal electricity in power lines resulting in electrical transformers and power stations blowouts and a loss of power the higher amounts of radiation also leave people vulnerable to cancer of course the met office warns that we will face a monumental solar storm in the future which could knock out technology and cost almost 1.16 uh, billion pounds for example of damages in the uk alone and it could, the country could be plunged into blackout because it is not prepared enough for powerful solar storms. The weather forecaster believes the UK does not have sufficient infrastructure to prepare for such an event. A researcher from the Met Office said, we find that for a one in 100 year event, with no space weather forecasting capability, the gross domestic product loss to the United Kingdom could be as high as 16 billion pounds. Quote, with existing satellite nearing the end of their life, forecasting capability will decrease in coming years. So if no further investments takes place, critical infrastructure will become more vulnerable to space weather. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.